we came from over there. We are in Athens, we're off to the train station um, and headed up to Kalampaka today. We're so excited, Jake is so excited. He looked really tired back there. So after a semi-harrowing experience at the Kalampaka train station, uh, nobody wanted to take us with our bikes. They took one look at Jake's gigantic Scott box and they said, no, impossible. Nice man, helped us out. Now we're checked in at San Giorgio Villa and we're building bikes. Jake got in the way. We're building bikes, like you said. We're gonna have to work on Jake's on-camera personality. What do you mean? I'm great in front of the camera. <laughs> have you been in a movie? We were over there, we came down there. Now we're on the monastery. Are you guys having fun? I'm fun, so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Good little recon ride and yeah now we're just getting bags packed to send them bike check yep. it's race morning we uh, rose at 6 30. we got to be at the start for 8 30. we we're just uh, scrolling drinking coffees weather for today looks pretty good overall feeling like pretty good a little bit nervous excited ready to get going so we are rolling to the start. Um, obviously we know lots of climbing on tap, some hiking, but other than that, not much to say because we have no idea what we're getting ourselves into. Uh, no doubt it'll be beautiful. Meteor has been amazing and just, yeah, super pumped to be together for this one. So, uh, is that his countdown for him to get it? stupid annoyance we uh thought we were off course so we went the other way and then we got to a scramble and we we're like shit it was the other way so we had to double back two times um but now we're on course so that's great and we're almost done this big ass climb um and i'd rather ride further than do a scramble i'll do the scramble when that's the only option but not uh, not when there's other ways that are the correct way. Woo. So yeah, making our way almost through this climb. Then we got a big drop down, more up. Should hit Metzovo this evening and have some supper and carry on into the night. water break number two. It's been so hot and there was a fountain on the climb which is great. We were like on the tarmac and it was so hot. Yeah, it's empty. Um, Good for you. 
Drinking water like a champ. I've gone through two of these. Well, not quite two. I guess one and a half now, but... One and a half. And I'm sure this water's probably fine to drink without filtering, but it's day one, so I don't really want to risk it. Doing well out here. I just had a couple mini chocolate croissants. Look at this backdrop. Wow. So beautiful. Watch out world, Jake's a vlogger now. We've done almost over three times the climbing to descending today. So we're gonna go down more soon. Um, just don't know when. Pant time for Jake. It's kind of cold up here. Well, very cold. It's like six degrees. But I know I will get really hot again because we're supposed to go right back up when we hit the bottom of this. So I'm going to suck it up and then we'll see. We've got like 27, 28 K to Metsovo. So we should get there around 9, 10 PM. So the best thing is happening right now. Our new friend Jimmy asked if he could take a film photo of us and then he would mail it to us. And we have film cameras too. So we're gonna take photos of each other. Film Me and Jake. Buddies. <laughs> <laughs> we just had a brutal hike a bike together. Poor Jimmy ended up like down, down, and then he found us. A little late night uh, water. Refill. <laughs> we are in Metsovo. Uh, we had a lovely lamb dinner with some fries and coke and bread. Uh, oh, it's, it's raining now. Um, we got a big climb out of Metsovo, like 300 meters over 2K. And then we're gonna figure out where to see. Morning of day two, we've gone just shy of 23k. We're rolling pretty quick. We went to sleep on the side of the road at about 2, set our alarm for 4.30, snooze, got the stuff cooked at, I don't know, 5 minutes 5. Now we're in the forest. Jake's very tired. I too am tired. But it's just a mud fest all morning. If you've been dot watching, you probably noticed we stopped for a very long time last night. Uh, it's currently 5 in the morning, so obviously we're going to miss CP1. Um, but we hiked for like 8 hours yesterday, so that made things much slower. And the first like night of not really sleeping caught up with us. I was falling asleep on the bike, and we were both having crazy hallucinations, and like... I kept dozing off, so we were like, okay, we saw a nice shelter, we pulled over, plan was to get up at midnight, this was like at like 10, midnight came around, no way were we getting up, um, we we're both just wrecked, I mean me definitely way more than Jake, but uh, yeah, so we're gonna finish up this section and then decide what the heck to do next. I have to say I am hugely proud that we have not stopped. We are just shy of 6K to CP1. We're gonna be about five and a half hours late, but you can self-validate for this race, which is super cool because you can't do that in Kyrgyzstan or Morocco. of a 
shell of human, 5k, 900 meters, just nuts, but you can see kind of where we came from, beautiful. tree so it's the morning of day four overall spirits are high how are you doing Jake? I'm doing great. Jake says he's doing great we did not want to get up this morning it was a very very luxe like apartment hotel situation they had a jacuzzi tub uh, which we did not obviously have time to use anyways lovely people good sleep we press on ah and here's the hiking You got it, honey. Good work, good work. So we're hiking up these <laughs> stairs. And honestly, we should have just brought a pack raft so that we could go down that river. Because this is, this is so silly. So we stopped for lunch in Kanitsa after like hours of brutal hike a bike. Um, now we're on a 13 kilometer almost thousand meter climb, but it's paved. Feeling pretty low today. Had like a little bit of a high, but I'm feeling pretty low. Next milestone is get to day seven. But Nelson just sent out a message about self-validating is an option because like 50% of the field is behind the snail. Which is just goes to show how hard the course and the conditions are. Well, we had like I wa really want to take a photo of it. It's a unit, though. Did you hear that? Jake just said he saw a unit of a bear. There we go. Oh shit, balls! Yeah. They can't even. It's, yeah, it's hard to make out. There you have it, Hellenic Mountain Race. We saw a bear. It's been a day of not many updates because just had my head down pedaling. We've made pretty good progress. We've ridden 50k. We have 45 to go to Metsovo, which is the next major resupply. We're gonna Get to Metsovo, have some dinner real quick, get the heck out of there because it looks like Scratch City and last night we were around a couple folks who scratched and it was just super negative. I understand the need to stop but don't let it influence other people's races. So CP due tomorrow and flights on the 24th, still trying to trek on to get to the finish for the 22nd or 23rd. We'll see. So while this race has been crazy hard, today has just been so fucking awesome. There's been like minimal low points, great riding, oh, and we are still going. Frig. Today was a good day. Anyways, I don't forgive you, Nelson, for Timothy, but thank you for everything today. It's been awesome.
How's it going, JP? You said, how's it going? Ooh. Big snow makes. Another day, just walking my bike up Saturn Mountain. It was a, uh, you can kind of see Jake back there. It's been a long climb, generally rideable, but it's so steep that my pedaling speed is the same speed as my walking. So walking hurts a little bit less than riding. So walking it is. But look at this weather, like blue sky two days in a row. Uh, so fingers crossed it stays this way. having a low enough afternoon. <laughs> it just started nuking rain on us. Every test is happening at this moment. We're gonna keep going. We just made it to CP2. <sighs> Brutal long climb up a mountain this morning and then slow rolling. Um, we had some crazy lows, but we've been here for a while. This other pair who's scratching tomorrow, they're going down to the seaside. They got in touch with the folks who were running the checkpoint and they reopened it for us. So we had hot meals, we've got a hot bed, we're trying everything and we are doing this thing. seven walking up another mountain but this one's nice I was just telling the gram the steep bits I have to walk so like right now but then it's kind of lumpy so you go down which you ride the downs and you ride the beginning of the ups but then usually when it hits like 10% I'm like well my legs hurt and no point in like grinding at the speed that I could also walk um, it's quite nice up here. Really good sleep last night at CP2. So many nice messages today when I asked folks on my story for help, because God, we were just like crying and saying we couldn't do it. And yeah, it was just, it was a lot. It was a lot, like when you get in those immense lows, especially when you're with someone else and you're both low, you can't pull each other up you just you both kind of sink like stones so feeling lighter today for sure um i'll give you a peek at this climb in a sec because it's just it's just bananas but i didn't really record much the last few days because we were just pedaling and getting it done or crying and then the battery on my GoPro died. But now, I swapped the spear last night. So, it was good. What time is it, Jake? I don't know. Snickers time? Snickers time. No, it's also 9.13. Oh, so right behind Jake's noggin is the top of the pass. We came from all the way, you can't even see where we came from. Somewhere freaking around those mountains. How was last night, Jake? It was good. Seven hours sleep. Sleep by like nine, four. No complaints. Pretty baller. This is just like, Today's a pretty good day. I mean, the lows yesterday certainly make today feel much higher, but uh, we're trying not to get too high other than an elevation so that the lows don't feel so low again. So yeah, like a mile left of this climb, probably some walking downhill, more riding. Sitting on top of a mountain, getting rocks out of my shoe from walking through a landslide. 
This was maybe one of the sketchiest things I've ever done. You worried? A little bit. Look at the view. I did not love that. No. My friends, I will not sugarcoat this. Yesterday was like 90% lows. Today's probably about the same. There obviously are some highs, but I would say we have outridden most of the joy um, and most of the positivity, which sometimes that happens. Uh, so anyways, that's just my tidbit of realness for the day because it happens and yeah, I don't know what's going to happen next. I mean, we have not gone very far in the last... I don't know, so many hours. Um, so we need to get off this valley or something and then eat some food in a town and yeah, I don't know. We're goat farming. They won't leave us alone. Okay, so the brain's come back around. Um, the riding's gotten much better. It's been pretty. But uh, I've been doing some math. And at the rate we're going, there's just like no way we're going to get to the finish in time for our flight, which... It's a bit of a bummer, but I mean, 
we have stuck it out so much further than, well, every other pair. <laughs> and like over half the field. So um, we're just gonna see, I mean, we're still on the race route. We haven't scratched. I don't know if we will tonight or tomorrow, but uh, we're just trying to figure out where to get to tonight. And like, if it makes sense to get to Carpenisi, it'll be easier to get a ride to down Nafpactos that way or what's up. Well, one last little report from the road. Um, after seven days of pushing and highs and lows, we decided to scratch yesterday. You know, obviously disappointing. We came so far. I think we were like, got ourselves up to like 38th, 39th because everyone else had scratched. It was like the hardest thing I think both of us have ever done and it's an absolute roller coaster. but I'm like at such peace with this decision and we're in a lovely little town. We had a great dinner last night, great sleep, cleaning things off. We're just waiting for a car that's gonna take us all the way to the finish line and then we're gonna get to celebrate with everybody tonight. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling like obviously a little bit sad, a little bit heartbroken, but so satisfied with the experience and so hungry for more, which is maybe a bit surprising. And if you ask Jake, he'll probably say we need a bit longer to do something crazy like this. Uh, but yeah, anyways, it's been a ride. Um, if you're thinking of tackling the Hanuk Mountain Race, I hope this video gives you a little snapshot of everything that we went through for the first half. In the second half, I can't give you first-hand information, but it is just as hard, just as beautiful um, as the first half. And hopefully y'all get better weather next year.